Hey, what? This is the broken puppet. Back with another video today. This one is how to draw a neo traditional bear. Now it's a bit more advanced than basic uh, basic traditional, so it's a little bit more detailed. And that by teaching line work, shading, highlights, everything you need to know. So enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Right, people. How to draw a neo traditional bear? Now, neo traditional is similar to old school. It's just a bit more detailed and a bit more refined. And that's so we want to first do get yourself a nice big circular shape. And that's slightly oval but not too much, so you want it to be slightly longer than it is in other width. Once you've got that you want to bring the circle line up here, cut through your circle shape here. Just like a little bit, you know, so you kinda of got this cap here. You want this cap to be roughly about what say one, two, three, four, about a quarter of the length. And about a fifth of the quarter length. Cut that through until you come just past the circle. Angle that off. And then come down again. And then you want to curve it. And when you get to the bottom, just curve the other way. So like a long S curve. From there, just do a nice big ball shape on the bottom. And then just bring a nice curve here. Not touching the line here. So you come up sharp. And then curve off. And then come down into the S shape you've done. So you want it to kind of, if imagine sort of curving out this way and coming down that way. Now that basically gives you the mouth. Where you got here, you bring this line a bit harder here. So you get about this sort of line. So you imagine in line with the top of the mouth roughly. And then you want to curve up and out. Now you want to make sure you curve up away from it, otherwise it won't look right. This is going to be like one of the ears. Well, the only ear you're going to really see, to be honest. Curve that back, so you kind of got like a almost like a petal shape, and like an eye. And just flick some lines, curving around, and come back until you touch that. And now from here, bring this curve down. When you get to the bottom, come down to almost to a point, and curve up around this way. Now you see we're just slowly, slowly building up this shape until we make in the bed and you can see it's slowly starting to form now where you've got the circle come down and cut halfway through it and what that do that gave you your chin and that's where your bottom lip's going to go top lip and now where you got this angle a bit here you're going to bring this up and now you're going to make a four pointy shape now off this off the top so you're going to come up one going to come across make a little sort of triangle a bit on the top and then come back down. Now I know it looks a bit weird at the moment, and then bring the line down from that top, you know, bit where it joins, and curve down to the centre of this. So you're kind of getting this curve, but that's going to be the nose. I, think I might make it a touch bit smaller, I think, slightly too big for my liking. And then once you've got that, just kind of curve off that shape a little bit. And now where this line curves down and where this line comes across here. This is where you want your eye. Okay. And now you want it to sit just slightly above it. Now don't go too crazy with the size. You want to make sure the eye is a lot smaller than the ear is. If the eye is bigger than the ear, you know you've gone way too big. Right, so yeah, do circle and then make like a kind of droopy bit of the bottom. So just kind of come off the edge of one, go down a bit further down and just join up the other edge. You can do a second one if you want like a nice bigger one. Do it kind of faintly, don't want to go too hard with this. This is just basically just building up structure. Off the top of it, you want to come away. So from where that line joins up there, come off and come across here. Now this is just making kind of like almost like an eyebrow sort of position. So you're making this kind of saucy shape over the eye. Right, just like that. And now we've got this cheek bit here, starting roughly from around this bottom of the lip. You just want to bring up some curves. How many is completely up to you, to be honest. Play around with this. You just want them kind of curving up, you know. Don't go too crazy of them. I'm going to bring up one, kind of long one, kind of along that circular bit there. And one there. Now that's the basic structure of where everything goes on the bear. And now for the teeth, you want to cut across this bit so you come a little bit lower. I need a little bit low. 
and that's going to make your inside gum. So imagine top lip, inside gum. And now here, in the centre of it, do six circular shapes all together. A bit further across, because remember this is slightly an angle. If you did that centre, let's see if you're going to look too much over this way. Your big canine tooth on that side, your big canine on this side. Now the bottom again, where well, you got this bottom bit, it's going to be like your bottom lip. So bring a curve off the bottom of that and make a kind of bend shape. You know, when bears growl, they never belt, you know, like growl straight, you know, the bottom lip's always all over the place. You can make it go this way more, this way more, it's really up to you. Just I always find it looks best if it's not even. Now again, just bring a line slightly a bit higher, just across. Six circular shapes, and then canine, canine. And now these ones I'm going to curve slightly curved, right? Because they're sort of like poking down. You know, this, but you got to imagine this joint is further down, so it's going to come out a little bit, rather than straight up. Do a couple of circle ones up the sides, just like a couple of back teeth, and then you can have your tongue. Now I usually make like you know the back of the mouth, and then I have the tongue sort of coming up from there. Sorry about that, people. Yep, so you've got this curve here. And now, now you've got that, you've got the bottom teeth in there, you've got your tongue. Now the tongue is literally like, just make like a bit of a gum bit on the inside. And then just bring up a nice curve, coming backwards, twist back around. So you're making like a nice kind of, almost like an end shape. So you imagine you had like, you know, the line here, you're making an N. You know, just without that line there. Curve that up. And then just have a couple of little bridgey bits just kind of curving here, and that's going to make the bottom bit of the mouth. And now we've got that, I'm going to curve this, put a little bit there. I'm just going to bring that around a touch. So that's the basic structure. So now we've got that in pencil. I'm just going to bring it all in to focus. Now, a lot of these lines I'm going to do to make it look like fur. So I'm not going to do line, you know, on a lot of these ones. I'm going to do like this build up of lines to make the shape. But we'll come back to that. I'll start off, um, let's just start, let's start off on the eye. See, so, yeah, so, you got the circle for the eye. And now for a little detail bit, bring out a little kind of lump, just on the side, like that. And then, a little flick, just to come off the back. That kind of creates the basic eye a bit. Now, you can go as crazy as you want with the people, you know, I tend to just do a nice little dot. You know, simple, it's effective, it always looks really nice. And now we've got this eyebrow curve, this is going to be one of those like a lines where it's kind of like fur. So I'm going to bring a line like that, a little curve, and I'm just going to repeat that line. Coming back, 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 getting smaller until it fades out. And I'm going to have a line underneath the eye. You know, this gives it a bit of detail underneath it, so it kind of shapes it. And then another one, you know, that we put in there, you know, it's just kind of making like the droop. The eye, so you kind of got to imagine a bit of skin underneath, and then again, I'm just going to bring in the little furry lines. And now, normally, I would do that with a thinner liner, but I'm just doing this quite basic so you guys can get the structure. Now, I'm going to bring this one up, there's maybe a sort of line that one, and then just bring, bring in that curve. Now the trick to the curve really is just getting like you know a curve shape and just repeating it and just bend it as you go across the line. Now it's really quite simple. When you get the hang of it, you know you're breeze through them. Just gonna bring in this lip shape. Now remember we made it kind of a bit bent. Like that. Now this comes up. I'm gonna make this come up to that point. And when it gets to this point here, I was gonna make it just the tiniest, tiniest little dip in it. Not crazy, just enough, just to show you that you know that's sort of like dipping up a little bit. I'm bring this line up around here. Be careful not to go over like your teeth. You know, like always remember where your teeth position are going to be. So we've got that. So we've got the basic shape around it. Now I'm going to bring in the teeth. So you've got the canine, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Second canine, just add a little bit of gum, just join that around. Now I said the bottom tooth was kind of curved out, so you bring that curve line up, curve line down, and come quite low on it, and that's really going to kind of show you the bend. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. The same on the other side, so you're curving out like that. Now you can make it a lot more dramatic, you know, I'm keeping this one quite simple. You know, you can have to bend a lot further down so the teeth are really poking out. But bring that curve line, that's that bottom bit of gum I told you about. Just two back teeth, and then we have the tongue. And I'm just literally just going over the shape we had there. Now that I've done those teeth, I can bring in that side line. One, two, just have some back teeth. And I'm just going to do a couple of little kind of uh, curvy shapes here, just to kind of show the top of the uh, inside of the mouth, just as it curves there. So just like that. Little detail line just there. Now we've got that, I'm going to get this chin in there. Now the chin, I'm going to do the same to this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it as it goes and then start curving the other way. So if you imagine, like, you know, start in the middle, like almost a straight line. And then as you go out, you kind of curve it. And then the other way, you go the opposite. And that just helps really show that kind of circular shape we want for that chin. A couple of detail lines just here and there. And then the side bit here has got to flick up some fur lines. I'm going to do the same on this bit as we go around. But now I'm just going to do this note this bit so it comes up. I'm going to have this line kind of coming down the touch. So it's not a straight line. You see, you kind of get there and you kind of dip towards that line that we've done and go across. And now the bear nose is. A lot of people kind of get it different. You've got to remember, like, you know, dogs, cats, bears, and these kind of creatures all have different noses, and the nose is a key defining feature. For the bear, I tend to do this the nostril, curve that way. So you see, you curve that, turn downwards, and I bring this out and come down. From there, come up, make that centerpiece. Draw the line up, and then I do reverse for the other nostril. So you go up, down, out, down, up, across. You can add your shadow and stuff, and the shadow is what will really bring it out. So we'll flick up there for the line, and kind of where the fur would go, you can kind of go one, two, three, four. You know, just kind of whisk a bit, you know, just like the top. You don't have to, you know, just one of the things you can do if you want. Flick that up. And now the head bit here I like to keep fairly smooth, so I'm just going to bring this curve around like so. And then this ear, I'm going to have it curve up. Smooth line, and then I'm going to bring in the fur bend. Like that. And now you want to make sure it's quite round, you know, if it's too flat. You know, sometimes got a bit too wolfy. If you come too much to a point, you don't, don't want it to be too wolfy because you now it's not a wolf. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. And you can do as much as you want. You can bring this out, make it a little wider if you want. You know, this one's a quite slim kind of looking bear to be honest. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to add a secondary sort of chin bit. So you come down further. I'm going to bring this out. Kind of touch a bit wider. Really kind of show off that bear shape. Just got to remember, bears are wide set animals. So if you feel like it's too short, remember you can always add layers. You know, a lot of people just go crazy to layers, and they add like hundreds, or well, maybe not hundreds, you know, but maybe about three or four, you know. You can just kind of build up that kind of, those rolls, you know, the bears have. And now you've got the one ear there, you can have the other ear kind of tracing off here if you want. You know, necessarily, you won't necessarily see that bit, but it's up to you if you want to put that in there. You know, it's just one of the extras you can do, if you want to. So now we're done that, I'm just going to grab me a black. And we graze. And we can just do some baker shade. 
And our color's quite basic. You know, if you just color it in, you can sort of do like the eyes, so yellow, orange, the mouse reds, you know, the back bit brown. Or pretty much whatever you want. The hard part I find that a lot of people find is where to do the shadows. Start with, we're going to do one inside the ear. We're going to offer those furry bits. I'll bring in a little bit just coming up around here. So I tend to sort of focus on the first sort of points and kind of bring some of them out, you know. And the way I see it, this black shade is just a way of making it seem like more deeper and more defined. Certain areas like underneath the tongue where you're going to get shadow. You'll see a bit of back of the mouth. So I can just flick this in here. I will smooth this out with a grey. These are just flex markers. You can get trim markers, copy markers. They're all pretty much the same. You know, just make sure you get one that's got a brush tip. Pro markers are good for solid colour, but they have no brush tip. So you're going to have a hard time blending them out. But you don't have to use these. You know what I mean? Check out my, you know, some of my videos and that. You know, my speed paintings, like my actual drawings. You know, you can use pencils, paints. You know, and you can still get the exact same effect. You know, you don't need the expensive equipment. You know, sound if you do. But don't feel like, oh, I can't do that because I haven't got that. You can. This just helps me speed it up so I can show you guys quite quickly. I mean, that's the only real benefit of these, to be honest, unless it just speeds it up. A little bit underneath the garment, I'm going to add the shadow just going through the bottom lip. So we just cut this dark bit just going through the center of it. Just there. Now, the nostril, you're going to have black on the inside. I'd like to make this bit here just a bit more defined. Now, this line just on the edge. So you get that dip. And when you've got this bit here, choose one side, depending on where you've got your shadow coming from. It's usually on this side. Put a little bit there, just kind of across that center line. Once you've got that, just build it up in certain areas. So I'm just going to go from a couple of thirds, a couple of the fur bits rather, from a couple of the thirds. So you guys get the drift. Just finishing off this bottom bit. If you prefer this angle to my usual angle, please let me know. I know some people like my other angle, but I know a lot of people do, or a lot of you do moan about it. And I suppose this way it does kind of get my shadow out of the way, so you can see a bit clearer. But do let me know if you prefer this or the other way. Which everyone gets the most votes will be the way I do it from now on. And voila. Now I've done that, I'm just going to grab one of my greys and just smooth that out. The grey that potentially is, I'm running out. Ooh, I need to top up on my greys. These don't normally run out too quick, it's just I use my art stuff a hell of a lot. Bending these out is just to kind of like just flick out from the darkness and then just go over it like a double amount just on the edge of the black. And that just helps it go really smooth. I'm not going too crazy, but it's just bringing it out. Just like if you're doing a pencil, you know, you start off, you know, dark and then you go to like your H pencils or your lower B's, depending on which way you're going around in it. Just here around the eye, I'm literally just like going from one side to the other, just creating this highlight just down the centre. On the top of the eye, I'm going to bring in quite sharply, like this. And that just creates like a nice little dip on the top bit, so it looks like a clear difference between where the top bit is and the bottom. It just creates a little break, which I kind of like. Just going to flick a little shadow coming back from there. in the center of his ear. Just from this bottom bit. Just 
and around that. And then you can just come down to your slower greys and just really smooth out that extra grey. Now just be aware when you use these pens, uh, a lot of time you know it will look a bit uneven just as you first put it in. But that's what you've got to remember, these pens are like, you know, wet as they put it in. You know, give it a second and once it dries it goes much more even. You know, so if in doubt and you feel like you're overworking your picture, just stop, let it dry and then have a look. You know, because it is very easy to overwork with the markers. Shadow around that bit. And just here we've got to send a bit of nose. Looking down from one side. A little bit of shadow there. A little bit of shadow on the inside, but it's just not touching the nose. Just like these little gappy bits in between. And then probably around here. Just a few little strokes. Just so you've got a bit of shadow just on this area here. Flick up, flick up, flick down. Shadow, shadow. Put it in there. And now, uh, what I probably should have done to begin with, but just wipe out all those excess pencil marks you have. I'll quickly grab me a highlighter. And put out a few little white bits. It isn't completely necessary, but it just shows you where you can put some highlights if you are doing it. Just where the highlights would go. I like to use the uh, Prismacolor. Very good pencils. It's going to sharpen mine. Because it's a bit smaller. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit better. Put a nice circle bit for the eye just there. I like to bring a little line just around the outside. Not completely all the way, but just to kind of define the shape a little bit. Where you have that shine in the middle, you can have a little bit of highlight there, just to accentuate it. Little line just towards the top bit there. Up that center. Top of the lips. Just little bits throughout the nose, like kind of stick to the edges. You know, you don't want to go too much in the center. Sometimes I can just make it a bit too much. Like so. I quite like to do a line and center of the teeth. So if you go from one side and then the center. You can't really do it in the circular bits, but in the uh, canines you can. A little line coming up the tongue. A little dot bit at the top. Flip it down. I forgot the shade in that bit. Right, see, line down the middle, line down the side. Line down the middle, line down the side. The lip, across that bottom, across that top, will just help really bring the shape of it out. See, now that lip is really clear. So just and just and those little kind of gaps in between. Just give it a little bit of shape. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. You can always add like the white all the way around the edge if you want as well. I mean, if you're using this kind of paper, this paper is craft paper. I'll leave the details hopefully in the description. If they're not in there straight away, check back later on. I'll have the links to like where you can buy the stuff. Yeah, just doing a white line all around the outside. And I mean, obviously on normal white paper, that's kind of pointless, but you can always use a color one. You know, sometimes like a nice red border can really bring out a picture, like on here, like a white border. It's also very handy when you're trying to emphasize that something's over the top of it. Like say if they're like a snake's body and you kind of got, you know, overlapping. 
you can really use like a white to kind of break in between that unless you go over the image and that really makes it clear that you know there's a gap so almost there now I think what I might do is I might do a bear tutorial as well for like the front of the face, you know, just looking dead on. Seems to be quite popular in that. But yeah, there you go. That is how to draw a bear. I hope you liked it, I hope it helped. And that anything else you'd like me to draw, please leave a comment, let me know, and I'll do my very best to get around to doing it. You know, I, I am trying to do these more regularly, it's just, it's hard to do when you're sort of tattooing and doing everything else at the same time. So, yeah, hope that helps, and I will see you next time. Peace out, people.